Father, we worship you. There is no one deserving of our worship. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. Seasons in your life. You are for my 
program the present help 
this is the part seven subtitled series. I am helped. Part seven. I want to thank you for following us so far, for your help, for your support. We will never, never have been able to achieve much without you. We know God has been using you. We welcome you to this segment. Our prayer for you is that when men will sit at meet at Christmas, during Christmas this year, your testimony will be so loud. Not only your neighbors will hear, from far off countries, far off countries, they will hear that, that the Lord has been wonderful in your life. It shall come to pass in Jesus' name. We appreciate you. We thank you for your support. God will never remove his support from your lives. In Jesus' name. Welcome. Once again, God bless you. Praise the Lord. I want to read the text for today to you. Second from Jeremiah chapter 52, verse 31 to 34. Jeremiah 52, verse 31 to 34. The Bible says, And it came to pass in the seventh and thirtieth year of the captivity of Jehoiakim, king, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, in the fifth and twentieth day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up the head of Jehoiakim, king, king of Judah, and brought him forth out of prison, and spake kindly to him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon, and changed his prison garments. And he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. And for his diet, there was a continual diet given him of the king of Babylon. Every day a portion until the, the day of his death. All the days of his life. May the Lord bless the reading of his word to the glory of his name. A few days ago, I was pondering on my mind. Now why should a child of God be held in captivity for so long and die even in the land of captivity? It's not as if there's no more bam in Gilead. It's not as if God is paralyzed or God is incapable. But what can really go on? We are on the part seven of I am helped of our present help program. This program is about help from God, not help from men. As touching salvation, holiness, everything is about help from God. What are the things that hinder help from man? That hinder man from receiving help adequately the way he ought to. What are the forces that withhold help away from the needy, the rightful owner? What are the characteristics we need to put a check on so that our helps are not hindered or withheld? What are the habits we need to encourage in the Lord, in life, so that anywhere we go, we are endeared to many? As we come together on this, may the Lord help us and open our ears and our, our eyes our, and our hearts that we may see and hear what the Spirit is saying. Praise the Lord. There's a song that uh, Sister Tokwe Alabi sang. I love the song. At least one of those few she said, Kimba Sopano Sheto. Timoba Sopano Sheto. Timoba Sopano Sheto. Abaramo Janino. If I should say, God has not done enough. Then I am an ungrateful fellow. If I should ever think or conclude or say or speak out to people that ah, what after all, what has he done for me lately? 
said that I'm an ingrat I'm ungrateful an ingratitude fellow it's an act of ingratitude the mobile police when I was moved from my state years ago to the federal capital while I was in, uh, working in the public service I retired long ago I wrote for my retirement 2008 when I was going to report I didn't have anything I remembered my mother. She was so worried. She bought some curry for me, bought some beans, and then fried chicken inside a small aluminium pot. See, at least we have some small pot. Go and there, they'll be cooking there. Roasted it with pepper. <laughs> I had to resume. I was supposed to resume in Abuja, the federal capital. The weather was so bad. The plane took us to Joss. Abuja airport then was not easy to assess. To avoid crashes here and there, they took us to Joss and it landed in Joss. The flights left Lagos late. Landed in Joss. Around maybe 10. But after 9, they had to take us to the park. When we go to the park, they said the road is bad. Oh, nobody dares to go to Abuja this time. But one driver said, he saw how many of us who can fill the vehicle and we're going to pay for the extra seats. He offered to carry us. He left that place around to 10 or so, or after 10. After 10, we go to Abuja because he had to drive cautiously. We go to Abuja after one. My very first experience. Now, looking back, why did I go into this tirade? Looking back now, I found out that then I came very single. Over the time I got married, children had come. I've, 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 all of them, have, they, are, they are now all here. To the glory of God, my wife put to bed five times. Today, four of them are with us. Hell and healthy. If I look back, would I say God has not been wonderful in my life? I'll be a very, very ungrateful person. Ingratitude can make one to miss one's help as at when due. Ingratitude, carelessness, wickedness, stubbornness, rebellion. The scripture I read before I sang that song of Topi Aladdin. scripture says it came to pass in the seventh in the 37th year of the captivity of Joachim king of Judah he was in captivity for 37 years And I noticed that they did not turn away from idolatry. They were rebellious. A few days ago, Pastor Ino Kadija Adeboy said, one of the things that makes God to be so angered against his own is the sin of idolatry. He said, nothing upsets him more. Whatever you idolized, you have placed as such above the deity of God. We did not open our eyes and help us. The Bible said, in that 37th year, the former king died. And then, in those days, it was the pride of kings when they capture other kings to put them in captivity and be reigning over their subjects and that particular king as a prisoner under them. It's a thing of pride. They can pick the queen of the king and sleep with her at will. There's nothing they can do. It's in prison. It's under bondage. But the Bible said a particular king was enthroned. They called his name, even Merodach. Ah, I 
can imagine the whole of Judah would have been crying. Yay! And they were in trouble. This one, we don't need to be told that it's going to be evil. His name has introduced him as evil Merodach. But you see, Isaiah 55, God said, My ways are not your ways, so my thoughts are not your thoughts. As heaven is to the earth, so are my ways to your, your ways. And my thoughts your thoughts. Suddenly, without the annoying, there was a turnaround. And this king came. The first thing on his mind, he was a baby when they had taken Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, as a slave into captivity. A whole king with the entire harem, his entire soldiers. Everyone, everybody was taken to Babylon. The strange land. They all said, when he came in, he said, no, this man has suffered for a long time. And the next thing he did was that he lifted up his head. He said, stay with me here in Babylon. You are old now. You can't even take the journey back. It's too long. He said, for the rest of his life, paying him salary. He was eating with the king. He made him to run over his harem there. I made him comfortable till he died. This shows that when men feel help cannot come to you, God can surprise them. Somebody is listening to me somewhere in any part of the world. Where you are thinking help may come from, it may not be from there. But one thing I know is that God will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ. David said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul shall sing, hallelujah, praise God for saving me. Have you thanked the Lord for your salvation today? Some of us are so selfish. We only remember what God has not done. And continue singing the song of Janet Jackson. What have you done for me lately? Ding, ding, ding. Oh, 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 yeah. Praise the Lord. But Janet has grown, has grown all those things. She's a more matured woman now. And I've seen her play a more, more powerful and matured role in movies, etc. When God steps into your matter, the river of hell will continue to gush and your life into, into your life without ceasing. In the book of First Kings, chapter 1, verse 1 to 2, the Bible says, when David was old and stricken in years, he was not able to do, he was no more active the way he should, but help was coming. Till the day David died, help was coming to David. First Kings, chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. The heaven got a young lady to be massaging his body as a young bride. When God steps into your to in to help you, when God steps in to help you, you will find out that as you age, your strength and your natural force continue to be better and stronger. You get wiser. That is why there's a proverb in my language that says, Enu Abdalo being bossy. There was a year we went for convention at the redemption camp of the redeemed Christians of God. And among the ministers I was there, Baba. So that day, we had the previous night, this elderly man was with us. I mean, Pastor Enoch, I think he had a boy. He anchored the program, he led us in prayers. And by the time we finished other things, it was late. Our, we, our accommodation was very far. And we had to walk from the old arena then. And my wife was tired. Left to me, I could stay on the bench there in the auditorium. The next morning, we were going to have a prayer walk. By the time we got off from our accommodation hotel, we couldn't get transportation on time. So we walked. On our way down, about halfway, we met Baba already on that prayer walk. So I smiled. I told my wife, I said, Ah, I'm going to outwork this Baba today. I will let him know that I'm younger than him. I was smiling coyishly. Holy Spirit must have smiled and looked at me and said, mm. Then, it was not long. I was looking at, I don't know whether maybe it's, I received a call. I was looking at my phone. By the time I looked up, this Baba was over 40 meters away before. I just looked briefly at my phone. By the time I looked up, it was already in our front. Ah. And 
then you passed. They released us. I said, now today, you will know that you have children that can walk. Like play, like play, it was going. Distance was being created between us. They got to the auditorium. Almost about seven minutes later, if not ten minutes or more before me and my wife arrived. I cannot leave my wife behind. Of course, even myself, I knew that khaki cannot be equated with leather. It was not ordinary force carrying Baba Deboe. It was the Spirit of God. No physical human being can walk that way. Ah, I was really, really touched. Praise the Lord. As it's getting older, it's getting stronger and getting better. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 34 verse 7, Deuteronomy 34 verse 7, Bible says, and Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye, eyes was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Deuteronomy 34 verse 7. Because of the help of God, Caleb worked stronger and stronger at old age. In Joshua 14, verse 7, Joshua 14, verse 7, and verse 10 and 11, Joshua 14, verse 7, and 10 and 11, the Bible says, Joshua said to Caleb, and Caleb said to Joshua, he said, 40 years old was I, when Moses the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and I brought him word again, as it was in my heart. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said, these 40 and 5 years. Even since the Lord spread this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness and wilderness, and now, lo, no, I am this day, first call and five years old, 85 years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in that day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. This is what help from God can do. At 40 years, 45 years later, at the age of 85, the man said, The same way I can go out and come in, and they released him to go to attack a land, he got to that land and took it over. At 85. There is nothing God cannot do. I prophesy to somebody looking at me. In the sun of your and somewhere in the world, your matter will not be difficult for God. In the name of Jesus. As you age, you will work stronger and get better. Every pundit that has been saying this or that, the all of them will fail. You will keep on getting better and better. In Jesus' name. May I tell you that God created all, including seasons, time and tongues, only emerge at the beginning of God. It cannot be affected by either season, either seasons, time or tongue. Because God, being who he is, who he is, can step outside time and seasons to carry out unbelievable acts, unbelievable acts of deliverances and turn around in your life simply because he's God. God can step out of time, out of season and turn to do acts of unbelievable deliverances in your life. The men will say, ah, this is too much. This is unbelievable. Your matter may have been delayed till now simply because men have refused to leave the stage and occupy the place of God in your life. When people do that, God will be watching them. Until men leave the stage, God may not really manifest His glory in your life. Remember Isaiah 42 verse 8. Isaiah 42 verse 8. But remember, friend, I want to say one thing to you. In gratitude, disobedience, rebellion, idolatry, and many, many more can hinder and withhold your help. It can give the enemy the local standing, as my learned colleagues will say, to hold you down. I speak to the four wings of earth in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. 
the one who created, whom no one created, the uncreated creator, the word of God that has been from the beginning, the one that spoke in Proverbs chapter 8, that God acquired me at the beginning of his journey. I said to you, I speak to the north, south, east, and west, and the center of wherever you may be. Wherever you help me, I'll be held down. Wherever you help me, I'll be with him. Wherever you help me, I'll be in case. Wherever you help me, I'll be in prison. I decree, hey, Fata! Hey, Fata! Hey, Fata! Let your help release unto you. In the name of Jesus. Enter into your rest. Friend, to receive help is not hard. To hold on to that help and enjoy it is another thing. Except you are in Jesus. If you belong to him, he will fight your battle. He will defend you. He is still called the father of the fatherless and the husband of the widow. He is still the one called the help of the helpless. And he is still, till tomorrow, the strength of the weak. He has been my source. He has been my strength. How about you? If you are anywhere till now, I was born into an Islamic family, chronic Islamic family. If you preach just to me, I could kill you. But today, long ago, I started stealing to go to church. Stealing behind to go to church. Since late 80s, but early 90s, I said enough. 91, I could record that days. I gave my life to Christ severally, but 1991, I recorded that. And that was 30 years ago. Glorious years. My life has never been so If you are not me, your life to Christ, put your hand on your chest. Let me pray with you as we close this broadcast. Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. Please have mercy upon my soul. I'm a wretched sinner. Come into my life. Be my personal Lord and Savior. From today, I hand over the reins of my life to you. Write my name back in your book of life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Friends, if you have prayed that prayer, I'm so happy. Please get in touch with us through the numbers on the screen. Reach out to us. Whatever you want to do, you want to send your seed, your support, all the other things you want to do. Go to my abroad. The numbers are there. Account numbers are there. The Lord Almighty will bless you. We await your testimonies. We look forward to hearing from you. What this program has been doing from Kaduna State to Lagos State, everywhere, Akwa Ibom, Cross River, Potakot, testimonies are coming. The time will come, we we'll publishing them. Be expectant. God bless you. I want you to know that we love you very much. But listen to me. No matter how man, God, how man loves you, they cannot out love God. God loves you better. Till I come again, your way. I want to say to you, bye bye. We love you.